This is Neil Ratnar Rock Doc here on WDST Radio Woodstock with another episode of This Week in Rock. On November 3rd, 1978, the police released their debut album, Outlando Stay Amor. With a budget of 1,500 pounds, which was borrowed from their manager, drummer Stuart Copeland's brother Miles, the police recorded Outlando Stay Amor intermittently over the course of six weeks, only having access to a studio when it wasn't booked by another band. Miles would occasionally show up to see how the group was progressing, and usually left feeling quite disappointed. However, that all changed upon hearing the group play Sting's song Roxanne. Copeland was so impressed that he took the song to A&M Records, which, as Sting describes, led to an unusual deal. We signed a, a single deal with A&M Records. And that's kind of weird, right? A single deal. It was kind of weird, but we didn't get any. We didn't give us an advance, so we we started with a kind of parody, and then a radio station, I think, in Austin, yeah. Texas, uh, WLBJ, which was Lin- Lady Bird Johnson's station. That's right. They owned radio stations. And a station in UC Davis, up in California, started to play this thing, and it became viral. Right. So we went to America and we drove across America and every time we put on the radio, there were two things on the radio. There was uh, Sultans of Swing by Dire Straits right. and Roxanne by The Police. You were recording the song. You fell over the piano. Is that what you did? You tripped over it? The piano was right behind me and I just, I just kind of relaxed. I thought the lid was down Yeah. and the lid wasn't down and I played a chord with my ass your and ass that's on the record and then I start laughing. If you listen carefully right here, ass. that's your ass hitting yeah. the, the piano. <laughs> We left it on. Miles Copeland originally wanted to name the album Police Brutality. However, after hearing Roxanne and then envisioning a more romantic image for the band, he proposed Outlando Stay Amor instead, which is a loose French translation of Outlaws of Love. And although Outlando Stay Amor received mixed reviews upon its release, it has since been regarded as one of the strongest debut albums with Rolling Stone ranking it as the 38th best debut album of all time. Sting got the idea for the song Roxanne while walking through the red light district of Paris and imagining what it would be like to fall in love with a prostitute. Okay, let's listen. From the album, Outlando Stay Amor, The Police, and Roxanne. <laughs> 